USB has really changed the way we think about setting up our studios. So whether it's an audio interface or a controller, a webcam or a capture card, it might be a hub or a dock, even a remote storage solution, USB can really be the answer. The problem is the cables often aren't quite long enough. So today I'm gonna to take a look at an affordable fiber optic option that might just make you rethink the way you set up your studio. As USB protocols keep getting faster and offering more bandwidth, cables keep getting shorter. Now an active USB cable with copper conductors can be a solution, but for sensitive applications like audio, video, and even gaming, longer active cables can give you problems with signal loss, latency, and even electrical interference. Now fiber optic cables have been the solution for this, and now that they're becoming more affordable and reliable, that's what I'm gonna show you today. Now, when I told Waham that I was planning some major studio upgrades, they were kind enough to send me one of their 10 meter USB 3.1 Gen 2 cables. You get a USB-A connector on the source side and a USB-C connector on the device side. Of course, you can use adapters as well. So let's see what this cable can do. So I have a number of tests for you. We're gonna use an audio interface. We'll look at a DAW controller. I have a USB hub, docking station, even a webcam, capture card, and a USB hard drive. So we've got a lot of choices here, a lot of applications. Now audio interfaces are a popular option for using a fiber optic cable when we want to get the computer out of the room for again, heat and noise. Now I have an example here with a Focusrite Scarlett 4i4. This is a USB powered interface, so it's gonna be one of the most taxing things we can use on this fiber optic cable. It accepts a USB-C input, so it's gonna be very simple. I'm just gonna plug the cable right in, and you'll see it's activated, and we have that going there. And what I'll do is I'll connect up a microphone, and as I turn the gain up, we'll start to get the light lighting up here. We're getting signal through the interface, so that's working. And now you're listening to me through the Scarlett 4i4 using the fiber optic cable. I haven't done anything to compensate for latency because I wanted you to see that the fiber optic cable isn't gonna cause any issues with latency, audio quality, or electrical interference. And now I've connected up the fader port 16 DAW controller using the fiber optic cable. And I'd like you to watch the faders on screen and the fader port just to see the responsiveness. Now I'll go to the controller itself and we'll move them up and down and you can watch the faders on screen as I move them. And this is really operating no different than how it would be with any other USB cable. And so absolutely, I mean, this is a solution. Now to put a test on the power delivery capabilities of this cable, I've gone ahead and connected it up to an unpowered hub. You see, I just have an adapter for USB-C to A. And then I've gone ahead and connected up a portable hard drive. This is a two and a half inch Western Digital Blue hard drive, mechanical hard drive, not SSD. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a file copy. And if this performs as you would in a normal situation with a mechanical hard drive, we should get about 110 megabytes per second. So let's go ahead and see if that happens. And as you can see, it's holding right as I would expect it. There is no loss in speed at all going through this cable. Of course, I didn't expect that. This cable has far more capacity at USB 3.1 Gen 2, but this is a really good test. This is a strenuous application for a fiber optic cable at this distance when you have a hub as well as a mechanical hard drive. And this is one of the most challenging tests for the throughput on this fiber optic cable. Here I've connected up a USB 3 dock through a hub that's not powered. Of course the dock is powered and the display I'm capturing is coming from the dock and we're playing a video while I'm recording through OBS. Everything is coming through on that screen. No issues here with latency. Everything is working really well. Now in order to test video quality and latency performance with the fiber optic cable, I went ahead and connected my main camera up to a Camlink 4K OBS is capturing in YUY2, and this is a 4K signal from the camera. And as you can see, latency is not an issue. I haven't made any adjustments for render delay or otherwise. So this is exactly what you get. Same connection as I had direct into my PC. Just now I'm using the fiber optic cable. And now for a webcam test, I went ahead and connected up the Razer Keo Pro using the fiber optic cable. And as you can see, no issues here. Signal is coming right through into the camera. The nice thing about this is if you want to locate a webcam further away from your computer, 
maybe in the corner of your space or you want a down shot at a desk, this is a great way to use it. Now, in terms of the build quality, I have to say this is very well made. This is a Kevlar reinforced core. This is going to stand up to a lot of uh, a lot of use. We have gold plated contacts, which are excellent. Even with a lot of time, the ends don't get very, very hot. So I expect this device is going to last a long time. And so you can install this in a critical application like a studio without worrying at all. Now, after recording the test for this video, I actually did a long term test with this cable. I had it running for 10 days straight, 24 seven. And I have to say there were no issues whatsoever. I really wanted to make sure it was reliable because this is going to be part of a permanent solution for my studio. When you're watching this video, a major renovation is either underway or has been completed where I've remotely located both USB and Thunderbolt devices, including moving my computer out of the space to reduce noise and heat. And so I have to say reliability, I expect to be very good and I will be using this on an ongoing basis. So I would recommend it without a question. If you need a remote solution for USB, whether it's just relocating a webcam or you want to move your entire PC to another room and use a dock in your space, this is going to get the job done for you. And if you're looking for other audio and video options to level up your home studio, check out one of the videos on the screen. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.